Felix, Festus, and Agrippa. <laughs> but today's insights is more like a gossip page for the great and powerful of the first century. Uh, Luke mentions names here, and I'm sure that the early Christians, when they finally got to this section of the book of Acts, just lit up because they they had heard all the gossip about all, all, all these people right here. It was, it was like current events to them. Let's start with Felix. Felix had been a Roman slave, but fortunate for him, his brother became the, a good friend of one of the Caesars, brought him out of slavery. And then he was able to marry well. He actually married the great granddaughter of Anthony and Cleopatra. <laughs> Who knew? Well, because of these connections, he was able to become the governor here of this province. And uh, uh, this province, and, and uh, there he met the daughter of the local king, Drusella. But unfortunately, she was married to someone else. But that wasn't to stop a great powerful man like this. He broke up that marriage and married her. Well, when I mentioned that she was the daughter of the local king, actually that was Agrippa I, the father of the Agrippa that's mentioned in this story. He had been a good king of Judah, even though he's the one that killed James, the brother of John. Uh, he was a powerful king, and his son is Agrippa II. But we have Felix, who has this background. He's, his, his, his wife, Drusella, is introducing him to Jewish ways, to Jewish history, to Jewish scriptures. Uh, he understands about Christianity. Paul is here. He, he calls Paul in and he talks to him. He has all these things going on in his life. And Paul talks to him about righteousness and talks to him about self-control and judgment. And, and all of these things are heavy upon Felix's heart. And, but he, he's just, just not ready to make that decision. Too bad because right here he's Rome takes him away and sends him back to Rome and life does not become pleasant for him after that. Well, he was replaced by uh, Festus. Now, Festus came from a noble family in Rome. Uh, he was known for his being wise and honorable. But he's clueless about Judaism and Christianity. Uh, that's why when he hears Paul talk, it's like he doesn't understand anything he's talking about. He thinks Paul's just gone crazy. It's just, uh, it's just hard for him to, to, to accept. But Agrippa, Agrippa does understand. Agrippa is the son of Agrippa I. He also is a good king, although... He uh, has with him Bernice. Interesting that Luke mentions her name. A writer at this time would not necessarily mention someone who's accompanying the king on his trip. Uh, Bernice doesn't do anything in, in this story, yet Luke mentions her name. That's because everybody knew about her. The gossip had gone far and wide. Even in that day, uh, with all the corruption of that time, what Bernice was doing made head headlines. She had been the wife of her uncle for a while, left him to become a mistress for her brother, Agrippa II. Finally left him to become the mistress for Caesar. Oh my, so much gossip and so little time. Come back next time when we give you more insights on the story.